Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Benson. Today we're talking about Candida albicans. Candida albicans is also known as thrush, and it is a major health issue of the 20th century in the Western world, and an increasing problem in the third world as well. Uh, Candida albicans uh, lives within our gut primarily, but it can also live in the female vagina, and it can live on your, your skin. But you can find Candida all, from all the tip of your tongue all the way through your bowel. Uh, most of the things that you think of as being uh, problems for human health are viruses and bacteria. We don't tend to think of fungal uh, issues, but it turns out that Candida albicans is a major issue. If you speak to your doctor, your doctor probably at this time will agree with you that thrush uh, can be a nuisance and irritation to people. It will cause things like uh, jaw itch will also uh, cause pr problems in the female vagina with ir irritation. But beyond that, most doctors really don't think it has much of a role and they define it as being a commensal. At the other end of this scale, you will find doctors that recognize that candida albicans can kill people. Uh, sadly, what most of mainstream medicine is missing is that area in between where uh, and that's really where uh, most of the problems come out with candida because it creates irritation in the gut lining, which is what ultimately leads to allergies and autoimmune problems. So what is candida albicans? Well, candida is a fungal organism and it's what we call a eukaryotic cell. Because it's a eukaryote, it's quite similar to our own cells because we are also are eukaryotes. In other words, we have a cell wall and we have a nucleus and other organelles inside of our, our body. So this, the look of candida is quite similar to that of our own cells, and that makes it harder for us to pick up and defend against. Candida has three major forms. It has a form, a yeast form that lives on the surface of the uh, endothelium, which is the inside of our gut. It also has a mycelial form, which invades the wall of the gut, and it has a form which is spore-like. In other words, if the environment isn't very good, it will form a um, resistant body that can just sit there and it makes it hard for us to kill it off. So why is candida a problem? Well, it's because of this hypha or mycelium that is invading the wall of the gut. That stimulates our body's immune system to form an attack against it. And in the process of forming an attack against it, uh, IgE, which is one of the antibodies, is created. And that antibody uh, releases uh, chemicals from our defense cells, one of which is called histamine, which is why people take an antihistamine when they have an allergic reaction. And the ultimate point of having this uh, mast cells with the IgE is that it wants to stimulate the rest of the body to come to that area and help with the defense because it's not going very well. With regard to candida, uh, the, it is present in about 60% of people. And the main way that we pick it up is from our mothers. We're colonized by candida at the time of birth usually. Uh, when the baby is born, the baby comes out of a sterile environment of the womb and it makes its transit down the vaginal tract. And in the process, it picks up the bugs that are in the mother's vagina. Normally that's beneficial bacteria, which is great because that means the baby becomes colonized with uh, beneficial bugs. If however, the mother has problems or uh, thrush or candida living in the vagina, those bugs will colonize the baby at the time of birth. The symptoms of candida are uh, many really. The common ones that people will relate to are things like vaginal thrush. Uh, typically that presents as a, an itchy, often curdy discharge, but it can be much milder than that. Women that get a vaginal discharge just before their period often have thrush. Uh, the candida can live from the tip of the tongue all the way through the bowel, and it can uh, cause anal itch as well as vaginal itch. You may also notice it as being a coating on your tongue. Uh, it does tend to live in skin creases because the skin creases are moist. It will cause 
diaper or nappy rash, depending on what country you live in. And uh, it uh, has become a major problem in the Western society. Candida is present in about 60% of people, but the way that it presents nowadays is uh, much uh, more vigorous than it ever used to be. It used to be that it was well controlled by the gut flora, but unfortunately due to the presence of antibiotics and a poor diet, uh, it has overgrown and has formed this invasive form in people, which is what's leading to the increase in the development of allergies and autoimmune problems. Allergies have increased dramatically over the last 100 years. It used to be that only about 1% of the population had it, whereas today, at least 50% of the population have allergies. Candida albicans is the major cause of that, and it comes about through two reasons, in my opinion. One of them is the overuse of antibiotics, which wreck the gut flora, which allow candida, which is resistant generally to antibiotics, to increase in numbers and uh, cause the problem of invasion of the gut wall. It's also caused by our poor diet. We're eating far too many processed foods. Processed foods don't have the nutritional benefits that the traditional foods had, and that also is leading to it and people not eating enough greening, green vegetables. If you want to find out more about this, and you can find that at my website on theoriginofdiseases.com, and I encourage you to do that. I think you'll find it an interesting read.